Let's go make this remarkable metallic feather. I start by using Arctic White for my background on my round canvas. And the acrylic pour paint that I'm going to be using, the colors are Vivid Jade, Metallic Aqua, Saffron Orange, Placer Gold, and 24 Karat Metallic Gold. As you can see, I am layering my colors in an arc. I've taken paper towel and made little fork-like cuts and I dip it in water just so that I can grab the paint. And I start with one side, starting in the middle and dragging outward. It starts to make these gorgeous little feathers along my pretty little arch. And now for the other side. I do the same, but in opposite. I give it a little wiggle to give it a little dynamic. And that's ah, looking super pretty. I take my toothpick, my trusted little tool, and I drag it through the center to give it some definition. And I also like my toothpick because it has the forked edge, which always gives me extra opportunity for some tiny feather swipes here. I just love this tool because on one side it's forked and on the other it has this little flat palette that really comes in hand sometimes when I'm needing a thicker edge. Let's go make the quill. I'm following that little arch, but before I do that, I want to add some of those little downy feathers, and those kind of go off the side, starting to give a shape of where I want it. Uh, I'm not so satisfied with that, so I'm just going to take it away. I mean, that's so amazing about this paint. You can just take your palette knife and swipe it off. Just make sure your palette knife is clean. So let's go try that again. I grab my paintbrush, dip it in a little of that gold, 24 karat gold paint. And I'm going to try to just fit it naturally into the curve of my canvas as well. Not too pronounced, but will be a little end to my feather. So pretty. I love this color mixture, the greens and the gold with that little highlight of orange. Ugh, this came out great. I'm super happy with the dynamic of the paint. And still figuring out if I want to keep that little dot of gold and I'll evaluate that later. And here we go. Just kind of playing with it again. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. A couple little extra feathers that I'm going to add just to the edge of it. There you go. Yeah, that's nice. And you don't want to drag too much of attention to one part or the other. You just want to have a delicate balance of shape and motion and color. And it's just so fun to play with this. <laughs> Get back in there and drag it. I do see that the line that I drew for the center of my feather is pretty pronounced, so I want to drag paint to kind of blend that interior line. It's perfect down below. I'm still having fun dragging my little feathers. But toward the end of my feather, I want to blend that white a little more because it's a little too pronounced for me. So evaluate it and figure and start to drag 
my little toothpick in there. See if I can tip it over and give a little bit of the paint to that edging and see if it blends itself, but it, I don't want to change the way this feather is shaped. So I have to do it with my toothpick, which is not a problem. I'm gonna actually get a teeny little marks in here and soften it. Yeah, just like that. Just kind of twirl it in there. Because again, I want a little bit of a line definition, but I don't want to be too obvious. So I mute it out a little bit with the paint. And just playing with some of it to give that continuum but not have it be abnormal and expose the under canvas. looking much better. Again, the acrylic pour paints really do their magic by all the variegated coloring that happens, blending and highlighting and low lighting. It's fun to use some really cool contrasting colors like the orange and green against the metallic golds. I'm really liking this. I look at that dot. Should I keep it? Should I not? And I'm pretty sure I want to take it away. It was a pretty little dot by accident and a little hint of something else. But in the end here, I've decided that I really just want the focus on this super dynamic feather. <laughs> they are so beautiful, these little feathers. I just had fun with this swiping technique, the pick technique. I love that I could erase a mistake or keep it if I wanted to. Thank you for watching today and coming on a journey as we create a feather with acrylic pour paint. Wishing you happy acrylic pour creations.